I go by the name of Christ Young, and I have an addiction. I'm addicted to sneakers. It all started out as a kid, and just like you, I couldn't wait to go sneaker shopping. So on the first day of school, I could show up with the freshest pair of kicks money can buy. But as I got older, it turned into not just having the flyest kicks on my feet, but I wanted more. I wanted rare sneakers, limited editions, hard to find kicks, the ones you couldn't just go to a regular sneaker store to get. So follow me on my journey. I'll be taking you all around the world to talk sneaker culture with collectors, sneaker fanatics, boutiques, celebrities, and athletes. So buckle up your seatbelts, enjoy the ride. This is The Sneaker Game. Follow the flow. Kill those pizza. lovers of these kinds of shoes, like high-end sneakers. Back when Chris and I used to live in Germany, we were following the European fashion labels and um, seeing what sneakers they came out with and um, waited until our favorite pair went on sale, hoped that our size was still available and tried to get it. And then we came to the US and that's where we met. We went to school here in the US and um, talked about our love for sneakers and realized, hey, there's um, an opportunity for us to do something really sick here in the US, creating high-end sneakers. Yeah, exactly. And when, when we were in business school and we started talking about that, we had a completely different background. We used to work in finance and consulting, so we had no idea about fashion, anything whatsoever. Um, but we knew we wanted to make the best possible sneakers, so we wanted to go to Italy to find um, an amazing manufacturer. Another problem was we didn't speak any Italian, but we were like, let's just go. So we booked a one-way ticket to Italy, um, went down there and started knocking on doors. We didn't have any contacts, so we were just asking around, going from one fair to a hotel to a factory, and then asking, hey, do you know where these brands are being produced? Um, so we kept looking and looking and realized that made in Italy even doesn't mean it's amazing quality. There was like a big difference between one place and the other. But we kept looking and after visiting more than 30 factories, we found this amazing place, a family business that we fell in love with where the quality was just exceptional of another level, it was super high craftsmanship. They treated the workers really well. Uh, we started talking to the owner, we clicked and since then they've been producing all our sneakers. Right, so you said that you went to Italy, no contacts, didn't know anybody. That's motivation, right? Absolutely. So how long did you stay in Italy? Because I know you said that you had a one-way ticket. How long, how long was this process of just knocking on doors and just fishing? It was a couple of weeks. Uh, we stayed there for several weeks. And like Chris said, in the beginning, we didn't know anybody in this industry. So it was really just uh, getting in touch with people, building our network, talking to anybody we saw on the streets in that region, because that region is very much a uh, footwear manufacturing region called Le Marque. And um, over time, we built that network, got to know more people, and in the end, ended up with that uh, really amazing place that we're now producing with. And the motivation behind the brand is really that we want to empower people to go out there and follow their dreams and really chase their passions, do what they, what they, what they want. Um, it was similar for us. We had this passion for sneakers. We, we had jobs that we didn't like. So we were like, let's quit it. Let's take a risk here and dare to pursue an opportunity that we really believe in. All right, so I noticed the name too. It's very unique, Koyo. What is the meaning behind that? Koyo leans on the Italian word for leather, Koyo. So it's a shortened version of that. And um, for us, it stands for craftsmanship and the materials and the quality and the care that go into each and every pair that we make. It really goes back to these 
roots of Italian high-end manufacturing that we pride ourselves in and that are the basis for everything that we do. So we started the line with this shoe. That's the one that we designed when we kicked off Koyo. We literally took like all the elements that we wanted to have in a sneaker and put them into one shoe. And we're sitting in our uh, apartment in New York, like drawing the lines of the shoe and how we wanted it to be. And that's a design that we also took to Italy to visit our manufacturers. We had it printed on paper and to every manufacturer we're like, hey, can you make this into a real nice shoe? And um, it was the shoe we launched with and that we got the first traction with. So Esquire called it the coolest sneaker of 2015. We were nice. in GQ with this shoe. We were in Vogue with this shoe and it really gave us this uh, incredible boost right at the beginning when we started Koyo. So it's like your OG. Yeah. It's the OG. And that one's called the Primo uh, because it's the first shoe that we did. All right, nice. And here we have our Capri Triple White which is our best-selling sneaker. It's a very clean, minimalist silhouette. For us, it's important that the shoes are super versatile, so you can really wear it for any and every occasion, and you always feel ready for what's coming next. So the shoes are made of 100% um, Italian Vitello cap leather, and they're also handmade in Italy, like our entire line. Nice. We now also have these available for babies. Yeah, the whole family can wear the shoes. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually made at a baby shoe manufacturer in Italy. It's this oh, wow. tiny little uh, place in a village on the top of a mountain, the most romantic thing you can think of, and they make the highest quality baby shoes in there. Um, when we went there first, we saw all the other luxury brands um, in there, like baby shoes being made, and we asked them, hey, you need to make Koyo shoes as well, like, and that's we what we do now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Pretty cool, this is dope. <laughs> So that's, that's the Avalanche, that's the latest model that we released and it's our first chunky sneaker, uh, our first runner. Um, we make it at the same factory, so highest uh, standards of craftsmanship and we combine all these incredible materials. It's a performance EVA outsole, um, we have Italian suede, we have Italian Vitello calf leather and um, a very bouncy, ultra comfortable sole. You can literally walk around in these shoes forever. And that's a shoe that, well, High Snobiety, High Beast, and um, all the blogs have been writing about, a um, bunch of celebrities have been wearing. So super happy with this model, like, and really proud of that one. They look dope too. It's Thank dope you. Runners. They look comfortable as all heck too. I'm gonna have to try on some too. We gonna, Gotta uh, try them on, it's so I'm gonna nice, try yeah. on some, I'm gonna try on some of the next segment. <laughs> And what do we have here? Yeah, as you're getting ready for summer, these could be interesting. Slides. Uh, yeah, those are our slides, also made in Italy, handmade. Um, those were actually the ones that Soulja Boy just wore the other day and posted about. They could be cool for a pool party. Exactly. <laughs> uh, if you know me, you know I love those pool parties, boy. Shout out to Miami. Yeah, this one's sick. That's actually the first shoe out of the ones you see here that hasn't been released yet. So it's a little sneak peek that we're giving Which you guys. One? This one. This one right here? Yes. Oh, so, so this is the first time, right? They're not out yet, so <laughs> shout out to them for the, the sneaker game. All right, so what so is this? That's based on the Avalanche that I showed you earlier, so based on that model. Um, but we made it a neoprene upper uh, that is going to be ultra, ultra comfortable to wear. Easy to get into, it's like just slip it on and go about your day. And um, it has a retro logo um, on the front with an elastic strap. So got to represent for you. Exactly, yeah. it looks dope too. <laughs> Look very comfortable too. And here we have another pair that's not yet been released. It's part of our more minimalist classic line. We call it the Tempo. And it has elements of Vitello calf leather, suede, also handmade in Italy. And we're super excited because it really fits any and every occasion, whether you're at work or whether you're going out with friends or whether you're partying. Yep, you can throw these on when you go to the club to all black everything, throw your all black exactly. on, throw these on and you're just ready to go, right? Exactly. These are nice, I like this with the suede, nice. And what do we have here? Um, that's the Avalanche Rat that we are going to release in a few months as well. It's inspired by the 80s, like the aerobic scene. You, you remember these like 
videos that they used to do. Bright the colors. Exactly, Concept bright colors, pop. exactly, the pop. And um, we know it's, it's coming back big time, so we wanted to make a shoe that really goes back to that period, back to that decade, and um, yeah, get some color into the game. Real retro. Yes. I like it. Yeah, we looked so, such a long time for um, these specific colors. Um, like going to all the tanneries in Italy, asking them for exactly the colors that we wanted and did a bunch of tests, bunch of prototypes until we felt like, okay, that's the right combination. That's the one that we want to go with. Got my two thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. I was gonna ask you that too because like I looked around at your shoes and um these shoes are amazing. Yeah. Like I'm actually looking behind you, I'm looking on the side, like these sneakers are really, really nice. I was thinking marketing, right? Yeah. You said you didn't have any ties, any connections in the fashion world. So that's hard. This is tough and there's a lot of people that's connected out here. You're just basically going on faith. I wanna do this and I'm gonna get it done, right? So I respect that. Thanks. Anybody knows I go out, I respect the go-getters, your go-getters. So with marketing, how, how hard has that been to market the brand? Because you can have the best sneakers in the world, but if no one knows who you are, how did you get over that obstacle? Was it just by like chance of people discovering or was it like, like how did you get over that hurdle? Yeah. Whatever we do, we're trying to give it a creative spin. In 2017, when we released white canvas sneakers, we were like, we're probably the hundredth brand out there that is releasing a white sneaker. It has been done so many times. So what can we do different to get some attention and to show that our shoes are special? So what we did was we took these white sneakers, we uh, put in five different Sharpies and we sent it to 20 artists that we knew. And we told them, here, this is your blank canvas. What would you do with them? So they all started drawing on it, painting on it and coming up with some really nice designs. We ultimately put together like instructions of how to create your own cool sneaker and the first 500 pairs that we sold came with these instructions and with these Sharpies to create your own sneaker. So our whole mission for Koyu is to create a brand that empowers people to do something interesting with their lives. We make versatile shoes that you can take anywhere into any life situation and that you can live a daring life with. And what we do is we partner with people, do collabs with people that live this spirit. So one person that we did a collaboration with, for example, was John Boy. And John Boy has, is a, he's a tattoo artist and he has this huge following on social. He has half a million followers on Instagram. He tattoos Justin Bieber, Hailey Baldwin, all the Kardashians. And we did a sneaker collab with him where um, we had sort of two phases. In the first phase, he um, did a tattooing pop-up at our store and normally John Boy uh, doesn't offer any appointments. He's completely booked out, but on that one day he made his books available for anyone who was just early enough. So we opened the doors at 12 and there was a line around the block, this store. John Boy was tattooing right where we stand. And um, it was a crazy event with people from Vogue, GQ, Esquire there and getting tattoos. And then we also did a collab with him where he designed a sneaker with us. And those two things together gave us a ton of awareness. John Boy posted about us, all his clients posted about us. And in that way, we grew our following, grew the people that knew of Koyo. And like John Boy, we did a bunch of collabs. Yeah, and it, like you say, it, it changes how you move around in the world and, and you um, immediately become like, more confident when you wear a nice pair of shoes and uh, talk to people and are more open to people and that way you find many more opportunities to do interesting things, to live a good life. Um, and that's part of what Koyo is about, like empowering people to do these interesting things in their life.
How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling amazing. Yeah? Nice. <laughs> How I'm feeling? I'm feeling like a million bucks right now. <laughs> Come on. So what was the inspiration behind this colorway? So the idea for this shoe was that we wanted to combine an athletic design with um, like the highest end materials. So you see a lot of like athletic shoes out there that are being made of like pretty poor materials. We wanted to make a fashion runner that is made in Italy and that doesn't cost you a whole lot. So this shoe com really combines nice leathers, mesh, uh, different forms of leather really, and it's handmade in Italy that makes it so comfortable. The inside is also a nice leather lining, which makes sure that the, that the shoe over time really molds to your foot. Yeah, I feel it, like on the back, it's like, the so but it's so comfortable. <laughs> yeah, so we picked this, uh, this performance outsole and it's kind of high in the back, right? Yeah, it has a little this, bit, yeah. Exactly, so you get a bit of a lift and we also have an, um, a very special insole that is a, a special German engineered foam that is extremely soft and be, remains super comfortable as you wear it. So these two things together just make it the most comfortable sneaker you've worn. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like a little flat foot. Yeah. So it's like as soon as I put them on and I stood up, I was like, Whoop. it feels, com it feels yeah. like it's like giving you some type of support. Exactly. Like like it's supporting your like, like right here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty dope. So it's fashionable and comfortable. Like, yeah. Because sometimes you can't get both. Yeah. You can get sometimes a it's a really compromise, nice. right? Yeah. It's a little, it looks really <laughs> nice. It's, it's really hurting you. Or you yeah. can get something that's, ah, it don't look too good, but I'm comfortable. I don't care. Like, you know, so this is very uh, nice. And I'm actually wearing these for the rest of the day. Yes. Thank you. Courtesy Perfect. of you guys. Appreciate y'all. Our pleasure, man. And where do you see the company going? What's the future for you? Um, we're just getting started. We've been around for three and a half years now and there's a lot to do for us. Um, we just got a new designer on board. She used to work at Balenciaga, so she's going to work with us on creating some sick shoes in the future. And um, we're opening new stores. In two weeks we're opening one in San Francisco, which we're really excited about. It's going to be our sixth location. And yeah, lots of things coming in the future. Congratulations. Well, you guys seen it first. Koyo. Soho, New York City, we out here. Welcome to the Sneaky Game. Thank you for joining us. Sneaky Game.